Hey guys, Prozan here. Uh, we're going to do a whole different kind of video today, playing Hearthstone Battlegrounds. I wanted to show off a Quillbore endgame setup. It's very rare you get this entire one, so uh, I'm going to doom roll here real quick and see if I can pick up a brand. But, uh, or triple this. And then we'll talk about the actual setup. Oh, that would have been very good to have. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Which is okay, because we're doing pretty good. Alright, so, the setup. We always need one of these Rugugs. This guy's going to let our Blood Gems fly to everybody else. We want to buff up our blood gems on turns three and four the most we can. So we're going to get that guy with the death rattle. Uh, what is his name? The turn. I guess he's three now. The Piper. So we're going to use the Piper and we're going to use the Jazzer. We're going to get our blood gems up as we get to level four. As we get to level four, we absolutely want to pick up this guy, the Rugug, and either the Death Scale or the Metalhead. One of these is what makes the comp. So we either need to be playing in a Quillboard Beast lobby or a Quillboard Dragon or Naga lo lobby. So once we get going, what we're ultimately setting up is these two guys proccing as much as possible. So we'll proc our scaly scales. I'm going to do it on the one that's got more. That way he buffs this guy up. And you can see it going crazy a little bit. Now, this guy, when he dies, I got I managed to get reborn on him. When he dies, he's going to trigger both of these. They're going to go through that same process. And then he's going to do it again. And we're going to end up with some really, really big minions. Uh, if you can pick up Bran, we'll stay on Tier 5 forever because we want to triple this. We wouldn't mind an extra one of these. We wouldn't mind tripling this. And we really want a Bran. So those are the ones we're looking for. We'll wait on this timer to expire. Realistically, you don't hit the Quibbler Beast and Naga Lobby very often. And so you'll either be picking this strat or this strat. Both work really good. Getting a second one of our Rugugs is really important, though. Uh, on either of those and getting a brand. So brand makes this much, much simpler. We'll wait and you'll see. I'm obviously using a very good hero power for this too. Um, one, the shutter walk is probably my favorite for it. This is a close second. So let's watch the hits. Uh, I didn't move that. I don't know why that happened. That was odd. <clears throat> there we go. It only propped one of them. No, it did. It propped both. I'm just blind. So if this guy ever gets to attack, he'll also get his uh, divine shield. Well, I guess he did while I was watching over here. He gets his divine shield back every time that happens too. We would like to replace him, though, with Bran or uh, with a second Ruben. If I had tripled this guy, I would probably left him in getting procced. As it is, we're getting 16 health every time that goes off, so. Uh, let's see. We're going to do him roll for Bran again. Pick up. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's happening this turn either. Alright. So we are going to boot this guy. Get this guy in. Now, watch what happens here whenever we proc. There's Bran. <clears throat> so we'll proc this one. 
And you can see all these jumping around all over the place. This is what's really going to make it pop off, though. We'll throw this guy out and throw Brain in next turn. <clears throat> so, once again, uh, pretty easy to set up, and some of these can get absolutely huge. Let me pull up Firestone real quick. Maybe. I like this app, but it takes forever to load sometimes. I don't know why. Show main window. There we go. So these are some of the stats we managed to pull with it in the 2000s. This was one that ended a little quicker. Quibor has been my favorite strat so far this new season by a, a very, very large margin. You can see I took a lot of first places with it. <clears throat> Again, it's all about proccing these guys as much as you can. We could pull this off with a Murloc Lobby um, if we had the guy who procs at the end of your turn. Um, which is another way you could do this. So it, it's pretty versatile. The Murloc Lobby, though, requires a level six, and so you can't roll for brand so hard. So that that's why I don't particularly like that one. And let's see where some of our stats end up. This guy had already quit. That's sad. Uh, You see where they really jump off the chart, though, now that they're bouncing off of these two guys. We do get kind of stuck in animation, however. Uh, whenever we get that brain in, you'll see what I'm talking about. On the broad side, this guy gets buffed. So the animation help kind of slows down. Because <laughs> they can't get through him. There's another perk. A lot of the pieces to this are tier 4s and 5s. So you deal an absolute shit ton of damage at the end of the game. Yeah, we're almost to 500 on this guy. Sadly, the Death Rattle strat does not uh, bleed over to the next turn, uh, but it obviously gets you through that fight. Maybe one of these guys gets eliminated. Yeah, good deal. This guy. Oh, he's playing these as well. We'll do all of our rolling before we put him in, in case we can triple something. Uh, that's too bad. It would have been nice to pick up the uh, item that stills charges. I forget the name of it. The, the one mana spell that hands off uh, blood gems. So we'll get Bran in here. Alright, now we're going to trigger our battle card. We'll do it on this guy. You can see how long this is going to take. It gets a little ridiculous. One of the things I love about this strat is it doesn't require high actions per minute, which is the bane of my existence. Uh, 
All right, we're gonna wait uh, 45 more seconds, it looks like. This is really the ideal end game setup. Just tripling some stuff here now would be wonderful. We would go to six. If we managed to triple either one of these or brand, uh, we probably would not triple these at this point. Go up to six and uh, pick up something to hit on our left. Realistically though, we're already on turn 15. We should win on this turn. He's got 18 health. I'd be very surprised if he kills one of our minions. No, eh, he's got a pretty decent board. He's doing the same thing I am, but I'm ahead. This guy's a waste. Because of my hero power, I got my buffs first, which is a big deal. And I get them twice. The amount says the game has already ended. But we're going to see how big these guys get out of curiosity. He should have put this guy hitting first because he lost a, a potential buff catcher. You really want to get the buffs on as many of the minions as you can. So you want your divine shields hitting first while your death rattles blow up. I don't think his blood gems were as good as mine either. We get up to eight hundreds. And a nice big hit at the end. Well, that was fun. Thank you for tuning in to check out the Quibble Strap.